What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a detailed gaming review of Realme 8 5G smartphone by playing few of the most high-end heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting. But before we start, if you are new to this channel, then do not forget to press the subscribe button and the bell icon as well to get the notification for future uploads. So here is my Realme 8 5G. The games we got today here, they are few of the most popular titles and for this gaming testing we will use the realme's game space feature and the pro gamer mode to get the best performance out of this also we will use the high performance mode so right now battery percentage is 67 cpu temperature is 38 degrees celsius and the battery temperature is 33 degrees celsius so we will also monitor the battery performance and the screen refresh rate we have selected as 90 hertz to see whether we are going to get 90 fps in any of these games or not so first of all let's start with alto zdc so the graphics quality is really nice and we are getting 58 60 fps on alto zdc when we are playing it on realme 8 5g Let's play it a bit more. The graphics quality is really good, the gameplay is also very smooth. And we were getting 60 FPS, so not more than 60 FPS we are getting while playing Alto's Odyssey here. So let's go back from here and now let's play Asphalt 9. So here in the graphics setting of Asphalt 9 you can see that we have selected the high quality and now let's play the game. The graphics quality is really good. There was a minor frame drop. The performance of the sensors are nice as well. And here we go. So the first spot and a spot 9 and there was no frame drop, no lagging. Just one minor frame drop in the very beginning when I collided my car with another guy. So let's close as fault 9. Let's have a look on the battery status 66% and talking about the temperature CPU is at 42 battery is at 37 and the device is pretty calm while holding it in my hand and now it's time to play the Injustice 2. And let me tell you that why I did not show you the FPS on as fault 9 because whenever you will bring the fps meter real maze game assistant on the screen the game will be paused and no fps will be shown so uh, we will see that how good it's going to be on injustice 2. so the details are amazing slight lagging very minor one but now it seems all good
That was pretty smooth. Just a minor lag happened once. The 3D graphics rendering is also very nice as you can see here. And we are getting here 30 FPS on Injustice 2 as you can see here in the game assistant. So it's not getting better either 29 or 30 fps max we are getting here but the gameplay was quite a smooth just once minor lag happened in the very beginning after that it was good so let's close this one as well now let's play cover fire so here in the graphics setting you can see we have selected high graphics quality and 120 fps so the maximum it can go is 120 and our device is capable of getting 90 fps max but let's see whether based on our hardware we are going to get something like that or not so we are getting 50 fps here Fifty, fifty-one fps it's not going up to 60 53 fps now So around 53, 52 FPS we are getting most of the time. The graphic quality is good and you can see that the gameplay is also very smooth. Even at just 55 FPS. So there is no frame drop, no lagging, everything is very smooth while playing cover fire on Realme 8 5G and the FPS we are getting is around 55. So let's close cover fire, let's have a look on the battery status, now it's at 64% talking about the battery temperature it's at 39 and CPU is at 44 slight increased and now it's time to play Call of Duty Mobile so here in the graphics setting of Call of Duty Mobile by default medium graphics quality selected and medium frame rate as well I cannot make any changes to the graphics quality in terms of going higher but I can select the high frame rate if I select load then still the maximum FPS we are getting is high only. So I'm going to select the medium graphics quality and high frame rate. And now let's play the game. Rapid fire. The graphics quality is looking quite nice here. You can see the reflection of the light on the gun and all. It's so good and it's pretty smooth as well. We are getting around 50 FPS here. That's quite nice. So there is no frame drop or lagging as you can see here and the graphics quality is very nice as well. And once again we are getting constantly 50 FPS, 60 FPS as well it went to 60 for a second. Killer drone deployed. 
is inside. The gameplay is very smooth, as you can see here no frame drops or lagging is happening. So as you can see I'm not a pro when it comes to gaming, just trying to give you an idea about the gaming capability of the device. So as you can see no frame drops, no lagging, gameplay was very smooth, we were getting 50 FPS constantly most of the time and the graphics quality was great as well. So let's close Call of Duty Mobile, let's have a look on the battery status, now it's at 61%, the CPU temperature is 46 and the battery temperature is 41 degrees Celsius and I can feel slight warm sensation here in this part, I'm not sure whether it's because of heating or it's just because of holding the device since last more than 30 minutes and now let's play the last game for today and that's PUBG Mobile so by default you can see the HD resource pack is selected for the PUBG Mobile so I'm going to use the HD resource to get the best graphics quality out of the game so here in the graphics setting of PUBG Mobile by default HD is selected for graphics quality and high frame rate I cannot select HDR if I go to balance then ultra FPS is available so I'm going to select the ultra 
for the FPS and balanced for graphics quality because people usually prefer to have better FPS instead of very high graphics quality. So this is the best combination, balanced and ultra. And let's see how much FPS we are going to get. So the graphics quality is looking quite nice. Especially if you have a look on the character's body, the reflection of the light on the shoulder pad, the costume, the wrinkles on it, and it's so good. And it's very smooth as well. Also, if you have a look on the crown, you can see how much detail we are getting here. Once again, the graphics quality is looking quite nice. I'm not so good when it comes to PUBG Mobile, so you'll have to bear with me, run baby run! So we are getting around 40 FPS here. It's not getting better than that. 38 FPS, 39 FPS. But the graphics quality is nice and it's very smooth as you can see when I'm changing the camera angles there is no lag or frame drops happening. It's very smooth for sure. So here I'm just trying to give you an idea about the gaming capability of the device. And it's looking good for sure. As you can see, no frame drops or lagging is happening even when I'm Using the scope and all, it's so good. So not much action is happening as you can see here right now. So I'm just gonna leave the game and let's have a look on the battery status and other parameters we were checking so far. So the battery percentage is 58. Talking about the CPU temperature, it's at 46 degrees Celsius and the battery is at 41 degrees Celsius, now it's at 40. And the device is just slightly warm here in the middle, so as we can see that the gaming performance is quite nice for sure. And we were getting around 50 FPS on most of these high-end games, just minor lag happened once on Injustice 2 and one minor frame drop while playing as Valtine in rest of the games. Everything was nice and super smooth. And talking about the battery life, as you can see, the total duration of this video recording is around 45 minutes and the battery percentage is still pretty good after playing all of these games on the highest possible graphic setting on the high performance mode and the pro gamer mode from the game assistant. So if you are a gamer, you will be happy with the performance of Realme 8 5G considering the hardware and the price segment under which it is launched. That's all for now friends, thanks for watching this video, if you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel, do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I will see you guys next time in another video, have a nice day.